imagine now you have done your all experiment and then you have the data so you can put the data here so i already have uh, because to save time i already have some data here some data here but in order to put data here uh, i need before i put data here in this thing i need to make sure that the numbers is same like what i have here so for example here you can see uh, if i put uh, side by side you can see for the temperature here i have 24 but here 35 so here pressure is 10 but here pressure is 10 is okay eh oh, hilang dah and then the concentration is 2 but the concentration the first run is 4 so it's like a mess there so it's difficult so i need to find one by one to put here so in order to solve that problem is that this is where the standard order come from you can see here they are standard order and then they are run order run order is basically randomized run the standard order if you do like this if i click standard order and if double click then you have what we call it will sort it uh, according uh, from low to high lah so here standard order is the order that whenever you do whenever for example let's say you uh, try to copy whatever i did just now you might see you might see at the beginning everything in this run order okay uh, you, you see the run order from low to high so it's randomized but if i do the standard order uh, regardless whether you input uh, uh, i input you input other person input you will always get the same thing same uh, same order lah so because of that it's easy for me to put the data lah so now you can see the temperature 24 is 24 10 is 10 so it's uh, sort by the standard so it, we call it standardized version lah so it will not be uh, changed or have variation across uh, others lah so because I have this so I just copy this thing so imagine this is the, the result control C and then let me put here and then I put here control V so that is the result that let's say I got okay so once you input the result Okay, once uh, you input the, the the result, then it's good for you to what we call to save lah. If not, you need to put uh, any uh, against. Uh, so that's a good idea lah. So uh, once you done with this, before you do analysis, uh, the design expert also give you a, like option to view the data before you analyze in order to see any problem or not. But before that, you can see I uh, just to show you something. This thing you can just move here and there. So that is just if you that thing and also you can also uh, change the what we call this uh, the the style the format for this data for example you want one decimal you just right click here and then change the what we call uh, the what we call this edit info and then you can change uh, this thing format you can change uh, to one decimal if I click here and then you get that one decimal so you can change up to your liking lah so let's say I don't want to change that and then I edit info and I put it to the default which is general so I put it in general so that's default okay so it's no decimal so that's one thing um, you can also change the either this display is coded or not because here what you see just now is in what we call in actual value 24 celsius 10 celsius 2 celsius 15 eh, eh, 2 celsius 2 percent 15 rpm so this is the actual value but the coded value you know that the 2 is low the 4 is high so normally in design uh, uh, software the the low value they give negative one the high value they give positive one so you can also the change to display this thing so how to do that is go to display option and the process factor go to coded so now it will show you in the code factor coded factor uh, negative one one and so on so sometimes this is useful for example to see uh, whether somebody alter your design because when you have a lot of actual data uh, this is small small design because you have only four factors let's say you deal with screening you have like 12 or 50 factors you have a lot of thing a lot of rows a lot of columns so by by changing the display into this coded factor so somehow you can get some uh, uh, you can get this quick glance lah quick glance uh, to what we call to to see is there any alteration in in design itself so to change back just go to display option cross factor and actual okay 
So you can also get this overall sense about this, how this data uh, 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 distribute in the space before you even analyze. Because when you analyze, what you do is that you want to create a model. So that's the purpose of analysis. But bef but now you 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 have the data already. So you want to see how your data distributed in the space. So you can see here on the right left left on left side the left side of the pin here navigation pin here you see there are your design this is design so under the information you have a few things okay you have a few things if you click at the graph columns okay if you click at graph columns so you get this thing oh so what is this okay so let me put here so this shows the data at a glance okay remember you work with two level so you have two level low and high so you see the the x axis is temperature because temperature you only work at two level so that's why one at the left side one at the right side and then this filtration rate okay um so you can see here uh, from this thing uh, what you can see is that uh, i want you to what uh, mm, what we want to see uh, we want to see uh, the temperature let's say we, we want to see the temperature eh? So the temperature here, if you look on the left, on the right, on the right side, they have like this thing, what we call this, uh, the, the correlation uh, panel here, correlation panel. The the radar, I mean the radar pula, the, because the cold, if you look here, they are cold and they are hot. The cold is blue, the hot is uh, red. So in this case, this is correlation table. Uh, yeah, correlation uh, metric lah. So the radar that you have, the more correlation that you have, meaning you have some correlation lah. For example, here you can see temperature. Eh? You can see temperature. Uh, why this thing run? Uh, how I change this thing? Eh? Why, I change? why I change this thing? So this, no, I want to go to default. Uh, because I already changed this thing. Uh, temperature, filtration rate. Uh, because, yeah. How to get this to hmm, run? I think run. Run is number of run. Let me, I put, oh, so this run over run. So I want to see filtration rate lah. Filtration rate to run. Uh, I want temperature. I don't want to run. Mm, I want the what we call this thing the y axis I want uh, the filtration rate okay and then the x axis is temperature like before eh? like before before we have this thing eh? temperature and filtration rate so I just want to you uh, ah, it's okay lah let me change again uh, this the x axis I want temperature the y axis i want the filtration rate so you see the filtration rate on the y axis and temperature here so if you look here if you go temperature here and you see this thing the what we call the color here the color here is darker meaning that there are correlation between temperature and filtration rate that's what does it mean by this color so the rest is not so what we call so so red lah uh, so this meaning that uh, because you look here because you want to see at the end of the day filtration rate so on the left corner on the the, the right most corner here the filtration rate here you can see that uh, the temperature give what we call the reddest rate uh, so that's meaning that the temperature have the highest correlation lah and the rest is not so ni lah you can also see that uh, using this correlation bar here okay correlation they give you 0 0.571 so meaning that there are some uh, correlation between the temperature and also the response which is the filtration rate okay um, and also to see the impact of other factors you can just uh, ni lah you what we call um, you look for example the, the the pressure you see the pressure here you see when you try to intersect at here at filtration rate the the you just click there you can see the uh, correlation is 0 0.083 so even less and even here the bar the vertical bar go to the negative so meaning that they are 
not much correlation between the pressure and also the filtration rate so that's what does it mean by this part lah so you can always change here you can always change here so let me i change again to the temperature okay uh, here the color uh, filtration rate why is this filtration rate filtration rate where is filtration rate and then this is temperature so this is what the graph that we get so the color here you see the color here is basically the color depending on the run because you see color by run you look here color by run you can also change this uh, by uh, what we call what you want lah for example let's say you want to see color by concentration eh? color by concentration I, let's say i click this thing i click this thing click there okay so you see that thing because we have only two concentration which is low and high that's why you have two color only red and blue okay so the red is uh, red is what okay so you can see here the red is high the blue meaning that the low level lah 2% the high is 4% so from here you already see something eh at the low temperature here you see here at low temperature uh, the concentration uh, use low but give you what we call the filtration rate low lah okay fine but then at high temperature you see the blue box goes up okay blue box goes up so you somehow can see here can sense here that at high temperature if i use this low concentration the blue is low eh? low concentration of formaldehyde i will got the even higher you see the even higher here until here even higher what we call uh, even higher filtration rate Okay, so that's what does it mean lah. You can change against uh, whatever you want lah. Concentration, whatever. And here you can see there are small number 2 here. Can you see that? There are small number 2 here. What does it mean this small number 2 is that there are two result that is same. If I click here, if I click this thing on the top eh. If I click on the top, you can see here on the right panel, left panel here. There are value. Okay. Okay. If I click here at number 2, the one that have a uh, small 2 here, if I click 1, I got one thing. And if I click again, I got different run. You see that? If I click, you see the run change. Okay, if I click, meaning that there are two run giving the same uh, value. So that's what does it mean. Similar to this lah. That's what does it mean by this uh, two lah. And the, you get a much more nicer view if you want if you want to if you change this into three dimension, okay? So we don't analyze yet, okay? Remember, we don't analyze yet. We just uh, get overall sense of the data, how data distributed. Huh? This is not analysis yet. So let's say we want to uh, make this three D. So we want if you want to make something three D, you need you need to have three axes. Now you have two axes only. So you can. Uh, make the filtration rate as a z axis and then maybe you want to change uh, uh, you want to check between the concentration temperature and filtration so let's say we change this at the moment if you look here the z axis is none meaning not, no, no z axis lah so if you change here let's say I put here uh, the filtration rate I click filtration rate I got that and then y axis cannot lah filtration rate because it's the same thing so maybe the uh, the the y axis let's say i want to put uh, stir rate let's say lah i put stir rate stir rate and then the what we call the the x axis uh, i put temperature uh, i think that's okay look good okay if you look this uh, you you can move this thing by moving the by clicking the the design space uh, but oh uh, uh, like that uh, you can click in the design space like that okay so you just rotate like that so from this you can see how your data uh, distributed in the design space um, yeah like that like not in design space because this is basically the filtration rate uh, the response itself this filtration rate F but at least you can see the three view overview of your data lah you have temperature you have the rate and then you have the concentration maybe we don't put the pressure here because they are not uh, because that is like uh, uh, for dimension already uh, so for this purpose we just put temperature stir rate and also we have this concentration remember the concentration is a dot the blue dot is the low the red dot is high you see here the blue is two the red is four 
So if you look here from this uh, tabulated data, you can already get this promising uh, what we call. Uh, you can see something promising lah because you can see at the very high is the low concentration low concentration of uh, formaldehyde. That is what you aim. You want to reduce the the what we call the amount of uh, formaldehyde. So so far so good. But don't be too excited now because this is just a preliminary. We are not yet doing the analysis. So we 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 got some sense. Okay, this uh, what I did is somehow going to the right direction. You just give you this sense only. But in order to validate, you need to analyze. That's later lah. Okay, so that's uh, telling you about what this graph column, this thing, this panel graph column, it just uh, help you to sort of like uh, show in uh, in 3D or whatever. You can put scatter plot, you can put in histogram or whatever lah. Uh, this you see like, like uh, what you call? Uh, uh, do you realize this? This is like what? Like uh, standard curve. Uh, uh, standard curve lah. Bell curve, the normal distribution. That's why we learn normal distribution. Okay, you have learned this a lot before, so just go there lah. Anyway, so that is graph column lah. It, it tell you, uh, you can change lah. Whatever you want to see, you just change lah. Whatever you want, you change uh, to your liking lah. Okay, so these notes. Okay, I go here. Notes. What these notes mean? You just, it's just for you to write something. You just ramble anything lah. This is workshop on the OE and blah 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 normally this is good uh, to keep a journal about what you do lah uh, so you can uh, put uh, whatever related to your design here lah so you just uh, have just for notes lah Not, nothing much lah and then the summary here let me take the summary here okay so the summary is just summary of your design lah of your design uh, so you can see this uh, the first is the version of your what you call of your software study type is factorial sub type is randomized you use randomized design and so on you have 16 run there are no blocks and then this is a uh, two level factorial uh, okay uh, design model for fi so this fa four factor lah four factor interaction four factor lah center point nothing zero because you don't do any center point so that is just a bit of information of your design so here you can see the factors all on the all this inside uh, this uh, tabulated uh, version and you can see they already calculate for you all the what we call all the mean standard deviation for you so this is the beauty of using the dedicated software for doe they do it for you so you don't need to manually calculate uh, so that's the idea so the response also you can click there they already even you you remember you do seven sixty run you have sixty response lah, and then you they already tell you what is the maximum response is hundred four, minimum response is forty three, what is the mean, what is the middle, it uh, is uh, seventy standard deviation we learned about standard deviation before, the ratio here is basically the maximum divide the minimum just for the sake of ratio they just divide that, okay. So and this evaluation uh, is just uh, nothing. It's just to show you uh, what actually uh, the model will look like later on. So nothing to to ni lah to, to to worry about this constraint. Nothing to worry. We don't have any constraint. So I think that uh, what we call that uh, end our second part of this um, design. So we learn about how to get the overview. To inputting the response and get the overview of our data before we even analyze. 